Hello, we're excited to be here with Dr. Barry Court, the Chief Executive Officer of Connect Biopharma. Barry, thanks for being with us. Uh, my pleasure, thank you. Connect Biopharma focused on developing next generation treatments for inflammatory diseases. What sets your company apart? Well, uh, we are very excited to be developing a next generation um, IL-4 uh, antibody, which basically is a next generation dupixent uh, of highly successful biologic uh, that we believe that we can improve upon and provide significant benefit to patients. Now your lead drug candidate, Radimikabart, has potential worldwide peak sales of more than $5 billion. And it has shown strong potential in treating asthma and COPD. What makes it a game changer, Barry? Well, um, every biologic that's been developed for asthma and COPD has focused solely on treating chronic disease. Uh, we have the opportunity because of extremely rapid onset of effect of radimicabart to also target acute exacerbation. So that acute attack of asthma or C COPD that sends millions of patients to the ER every year there hasn't been a new drug developed for over 20 years. Uh, and our product is ideally suited for these patients. Now, as you said, you're targeting acute exacerbations. In other words, what's sending these sufferers of asthma and COPD to the emergency room. This is an area where existing biologics like Dupixent are not even approved. So how significant is the unmet need? Well, as I mentioned, uh, for asthma, uh, about a million patients a year go to the emergency room. For COPD, it's over 1.3 million patients. So it's a huge uh, market opportunity and very large numbers of patients are suffering from these uh, very significant exacerbations. Um, and right now, as I said, the, the treatment is the same thing they would have received 20 years ago. Um, and the opportunity to dramatically improve the outcome for these patients is really what drives us. Now, you've recently reported top-line data from a phase 2B clinical trial for radimicabart. What can you tell us about the results, Barry? And given the encouraging data, what is the timeline for your upcoming phase 2 studies in acute asthma and COPD? Yeah, well, thank you. A great question. Um, yeah, we recently have published uh, the phase two data of using radimicabart for chronic asthma, um, demonstrated uh, excellent benefit in terms of reduction of exacerbations and particularly very exciting data on improved airway function. Um, that, that's the amount of, of air that goes in and out of the lungs. Um, and we showed a very dramatic improvement. But what was unique about the results is that that improvement started within 24 hours of dosing. Uh, that gives us the opportunity to start treating patients very early and to see a benefit in these patients suffering from acute exacerbations. The other thing that really we find exciting is that the, uh, the studies necessary to evaluate the drug in acute exacerbations are relatively inexpensive and very fast when you compare them to kind of standard asthma and COPD trials. Uh, so these studies should be starting up in the next few months um, and we anticipate data in the first half of next year, um, which is extremely fast when it comes to these kinds of, of patients. Now, Barry, you're certainly speaking from experience when it comes to taking drugs to market. You've brought no less than nine to market. Also, you've brought a new management team made up of colleagues from your previous successful ventures. And finally, Connect Biopharma has also relocated to San Diego. Tell us why all those changes are significant. Well, Connecta was originally a Chinese-based biotech 
uh, with some great scientists that obviously developed some very exciting technology. Uh, but uh, where the board felt uh, what we needed was a more experienced development team uh, and a more experienced team in terms of uh, running a public co a biotech company um, with greater connections to the financial community. Um, as you noted, I, I have um, over the course of my career taken nine drugs uh, to the US market. Um, have run multiple biotechnology companies, have sold biotechnology companies to large pharma, um, and it seemed like a, a perfect match of, of my skill set and the skill set of my, my team from prior companies uh, to kind of completely restructure the organization, um, start to uh, reduce the footprint in China and uh, move those uh, those positions that we still needed to San Diego. Turning now to finances, Barry, your company has $93.7 million in cash reserves. That is enough funding to get you into 2027. How does this strong financial position support your growth and clinical pipeline? And what milestones should investors be watching for over the next, say, year or 24 months? Yeah, absolutely. A critical component of the company's story um, is that we have enough cash to run the, the two studies we're about to initiate, create very significant value for the, the our product and the company, um, and still have a cash runway into 2027. Um, so that lets us execute on the clinical program and still have a runway uh, to be able to find a, a partner after the data is available. And finally, Barry, what is the core value proposition of Connect Bio? In other words, why should investors take an interest right now? Well, um, for the same reason that I decided to join the company, um, it's the, the, we believe that this is a highly valuable um, asset that we're developing. Um, it's incredibly undervalued today in terms of the financial markets. A great deal of that has to do with really lack of awareness. Um, the, the clinical data are excellent, uh, but the prior management team, uh, you know, didn't do maybe the best uh, job of getting that story out to investors. Um, and now with a repositioning to be more U.S. centric, we have the opportunity of getting the story out to uh, U.S.-based healthcare funds um, and uh, retail investors in the United States, which I believe will resonate very well with this highly undervalued but incredibly uh, important asset. I also think it's going to resonate, Barry. Thanks for being with us today. You're very welcome. Thank you.